He's a CEO, a filmmaker, an author, and an inspiration. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome John Caldwell. Welcome to Entertainment Tonight and welcome back to Australia. Thank you. You guys are here all the time now. I, I was saying that the other day. I think in some ways people are thinking, oh, that's, that's okay for celebrities to talk about that publicly, but I might lose my job or I might mm. lose my sure. friends. Mm. So I think the stigma's very much there. Wow, are we really taking this too far? Is that counterproductive? Because mm. in my opinion, and I, this is going to shock you all, but I'm gay. So, and I didn't no. find it. I, I know, sorry, I what I'm saying, but I didn't I'm find shocked. it offensive. I found it stupid <laughs> and ill thought out, but I didn't find it offensive. John Corbell, Entertainment Tonight. Angelina, this movie is beautifully graphic, but as a director, was it a fine line for you as to what would be acceptable in terms of being graphic on screen? Yeah, it was actually really difficult. We wanted it to be PG-13, but how to do a PG-13 film that includes 220 punches and you know all of and men on the raft and their, their physical state and just the, just the um, the relentlessness of, of Watanabe and I, w I watched a segment from your show the other night and you were doing a gig and the audio didn't work and you you were angry you said you were angry I was. but I've never seen somebody so sweet and delightful when they're being angry is that you being angry oh my god that is the I have never been so angry in my life just how difficult is it to go back to school for kids who are the victims of bullying. Yeah, it, it's, uh, it's quite horrendous. I think there are thousands of kids in Australia right now that are feeling sick to their stomach about, about tomorrow and having to go back to school. I'm not naive enough to think that I'm going to solve the world's bullying problem, uh, but I do hope to make a significant generational change. And is there a men's version coming, or should we just make this unisex today, shall we? Let's just make it unisex today. I think the key there was non-judgmental as well. I mean, unless you're in this situation, you don't know what these women are going through, so when they go back after you've helped them, don't write them off, because the time that they really do think, I can actually really leave this time, is when they're really going to need the help and support. Yeah. So I think too often people write them off because they went back, but they go back for their children or for security or a whole myriad whole, of reasons that exactly, we don't understand. Exactly. There is a gap between supporting the cause and actually understanding it. So I thought we need to throw that conversation open a bit wider and maybe give people some tips and tools in terms of how to associate or, or be involved with someone with a mental illness. So speaking yes. of feminine and sexy, <laughs> let's talk about this photo shoot with Paper Magazine. Yes. Did you have any idea that it would be as amazing a response as it has been? I really didn't. It's not that addictive and it's got far less side effects than a lot of these others. I guess what, what's your argument then as to how we've legalised for medical purposes the use of things like oxycotton and morphine? I think also we just want to clarify these parents aren't like lighting up a joint for their three-year-old kids. They're putting a few drops into their bottle or whatever. It's such a tiny amount um, and it's, it's making a huge difference and they're claiming that it's definitely keeping their children alive. Right, Thank you so it. much. It's so wonderful. Mwah. Mwah. Do you guys do two kisses in Australia or yeah, one? Well, it's or, or like just French? It depends. Yeah. yeah. Right, tongue. Yeah. Right. Tongue's fine. Later. Let's go. <laughs> Thanks for watching Studio 10.